Okay, so we're going to find the point of intersection between these two curves and the line. And doing so, if they're being intersected, that means they have to equal each other. So let's make the equation 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 1 equals to 2x minus 5. Bring everything to one side of the equation, and I get 2x cubed minus 5x squared. No, it's not 5x squared. It is 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 is 0. And if I'm going to find factors of this to solve it, I need to consider the factors of 6 and the factors of 2. And so the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. I have to, I can only consider every positive and negative combination of 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 2 over 1, 2 over 2, 3 over 1, and so on. And so let's try 1 half, just for fun. And I'm going to use synthetic division since it's easier than plugging it in and doing the arithmetic. So I go 2 minus 3 minus 11 and 6. The 2 comes down. I multiply at 1, so add, I get negative 1, add, multiply, and I get negative 6 and 0, which is 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. If I factor out the 2, I'm left with x squared minus x minus 6 is 0. And so x minus 3 and x plus 2 equals 0. And so I have 3x's. x is a half, x is 3, and x is minus 2. If I want to find the corresponding y values, I can plug it into this equation or this equation. I prefer the linear one. So y equals 2x minus 5. 2 times a half is 1. Minus 5 gives me minus 4. The y value here, 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 1 is 1. And negative 2, negative 4, so that is negative 9 is my coordinate point. All right, so if I go over to my calculator here and confirm that, here is my graph here. And let's just trace. Let's put in 0.5. I get negative 4. Good. Put in 3. I get 1. Good. Negative 2. And I get negative 9. 